You cannot prescribe hope. You cannot prescribe that. It's a side effect, just like happiness is. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get at the source of where that hope comes from. The book Medicine, Religion, and Health examines the relationship between religion and health and is unique in that it provides the research in a easily understood manner for the layperson. The research uh, indicates that people who are more religious, those who are more involved in their religious communities, are healthier, have better mental health, have better physical health, and tend to live longer as well. This is really pretty a unique study. You see, if somebody's in turmoil about their spiritual life or, or feeling that God has deserted them or doesn't love them, then, then that creates a, psycho, a negative psychological, emotional uh, atmosphere in which the body responds in a, in a kind of a shutdown mode. The immune system doesn't operate as well. People get high blood pressure when they're anxious and distressed. They have cardiac arrhythmias as part of that. The, the wounds don't close after the surgical operation because, you know, the immune system isn't working as well. So the wound gets infected or the antibiotic doesn't work. Our, <laughs> our, emotional, our emotional lives um, influence these basic physiological functions that, that are responsible for healing and response to treatments. Illness, with the right kind of direction, can actually create a spiritual transformation in their life, such that their lives really become better as that happens. Life becomes lighter and becomes more meaningful, and some people have even said it's more meaningful now than it's ever been, even when they were healthy.